Welcome everybody. My name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please click the button for me. Help support my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And as an added bonus, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music. Just like this, we're going to take a look today at uh, Bruce Springsteen box set, The Ties That Bind. Uh, this was a six disc box set uh, that was released in 2015 celebrating the album The River. Uh, which was his fifth studio album at the time and originally released in 1980. And it was his first number one album on the Billboard 200 album chart. And then in 1982, it was nominated for a Grammy and ultimately the album would be certified five times platinum. Now, originally the album was intended to be a single disc album called The Ties That Bind, which is how the box set gets its name. And the single disc version is included in this box set. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Uh, Bruce had felt that the songs on the single disc version lacked the kind of unity and conceptual intensity that he likes his music to have. And so uh, he actually canceled the release of the single disc version of this, which had already been sequenced and mixed and everything up until that point. So he cancels that. He goes back into the studio and seven months later, he emerges with The River, which is now a double album. And he feels that because uh, of it being able to be that double album, it's able to encompass what it is that he was trying to originally achieve with that single disc album, but he couldn't. And so now, despite the album being uh, 20 songs long, a double album, he actually recorded more than 50 songs during the sessions uh, for it. And uh, for the 35th anniversary of the River album, uh, these are compiled as part of uh, the unreleased tracks for the Ties That Bind, uh, the River Collection, which is this box set that we're going to talk about here. And so it contains 52 tracks over four CDs, four hours of video over two Blu-ray, and the six discs themselves are broken down as follows. You have disc one and two, which is the original album, The River, it's now remastered. Disc three, which is a CD, is The River, the single album version of it, what was originally intended to come out. So you get to check out that version of it, the way it was originally sequenced and mixed, which is kind of a cool uh, look into the what if scenario. And then uh, disc four, the thing that I want to focus on here, which is the River Outtakes. I'll come back to that in a minute. Disc five, which is a Blu-ray, it's called The Ties That Bind and is a 60 minute documentary with reflections by Bruce Springsteen on the recording of the album. It's really great, uh, intimate look at this. He uh, noodles around on the guitar and stuff as he's talking about the song. So it's a pretty cool, uh, you know, uh, look into the recording of, you know, but but through the um, back lens of the way that Bruce is looking at it or remembering it now, which is an interesting way to experience it. And then disc six, which is also a Blu-ray, is uh, the River Tour. And so some really great concert footage and stuff like that. Very good quality material on there as well. Highly worth uh, that alone for the content of this box. But as I said, I want to focus on, uh, for this package, the River Outtakes, which is 22 tracks long that fits onto one disc. Uh, 11 of these tracks are unreleased. Uh, some of the songs on here actually received new vocal recordings by Bruce uh, just for the package in order to complete those uh, tracks and get them up to par, at least in terms of what Bruce felt was uh, would make these ready for release. And the cool thing is that um, for the promotional tour, because he did go out in 2015 to promote the release of this box set and actually did uh, play the album in its entirety, start to finish, he did open the shows with uh, the unreleased track, Meet Me in the City. And despite releasing 22 of these additional recordings, there's actually still 18 unreleased tracks in the vaults. And, you know, again, hopefully at some point we're going to see more of these. But good news is at least that the song Janie Needs a Shooter, which is one of those unreleased 18 tracks, has been dusted off and re-recorded for his upcoming new album, Letter to You, which is due out October 23rd. So if you're looking to hear one more track from the River Sessions, do pick up his new album and you'll be able to check that out. So let's take a look at this. This is the front cover of the box itself. 
and there's the back side of it and then you can check out the spine there and the other side of the spine because everything actually comes out of the top it's interesting the way everything sits vertical in it instead of usually the side and when we slide this stuff out we get this we get the stuff that the disc you know it's holding the disc and we get a book here and so let me slide these out and I'll show you the CDs in just a minute. There is the book, and I'll go through that in just a moment. But this is the part that holds the disc. And when we open this up here, we see that there is actually this replica composition notebook, which has lyrics and things, and I'll go through that in a moment. But here's the thing that holds all of the discs. And so we've got the river itself, the original double album, and single sleeve you know, vinyl replica things there at the top here. And then we've got the single disc version of it right below. And this is uh, what it was that the album was intended to be. And it's cool to be able to finally check that out, the sequencing and the mastering of the way that that is. Then we've got the two Blu-rays over here. And this one here is the documentary disc itself. And then we've got the live concert footage on this one here, which as I said, I think is, uh, you know, totally makes this package worthwhile in and of itself just for that but of course the thing that I think is uh, you know the real bonus of everything here which is this the river outtakes 22 tracks on that disc right there which I think is just stunning stunning material All right and then here's that replica composition notebook which uh, you know repeats the lyrics or, or reproduces I should say the lyrics you can see the the handwritten lyrics reproduced and then typewritten lyrics with it as well and it's pretty cool the way that this is done I won't go through the whole thing here because it's a lot of uh, you know repeat of the same appearance of the same sort of stuff but it is very cool to see those handwritten lyrics and they do reproduce you know both front and back sides of what this is and I like that there's additional writing and things like that that's on it but the cool thing here is really this book itself uh, which is like a coffee table style book. It's got, uh, you know, a little bit of um, written stuff in it, a cool forward on it. And there's some written things throughout, but basically it's a coffee table style book with some really great photos uh, behind the scenes stuff that was going on in there. Um, really cool types of, um, you know, studio footage and stuff from video shoots and the album photo shoots and things like that, but just uh, some great period photos from the time. And there's also some cool news clippings and things in here, reviews for the records. You also get that stuff too. And it's really great. It's just sort of some, some good period style stuff that as you're listening to the record, you can be taking a look at this and you can be reading, you know, commentary and things from the time and those reviews. But ultimately, it's just some really great live shots like that one there on things for this. So, you know, bottom line, I really love collections like these that provide an alternate aspect to an album. In this case, like releasing the single disc version of it, getting to hear what that originally intended version was. Um, now, I didn't grow up with the River album itself um, originally. I found it much later, but I personally like these 22 outtakes better than the album itself. Tracks like Meet Me in the City, The Man Who Got Away, and Little White Lies, I think are just three of the best songs to ever open a Bruce Springsteen album. Um, the, the fire, the passion of the band itself uh, and the vocal is so captivating and engaging on these tracks here, in my opinion. It makes this collection essential for all rock fans to hear this sort of a thing. I highly recommend it, of course, for Bruce Springsteen fans, but I would actually recommend this collection for all rock fans. I just really think this collection is that good and that interesting of a thing to check out. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please leave me your comments, let me know your thoughts. I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Bye-bye.